Welcome to Off Grid Victory. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, security for your vehicle, uh, whether you're in a car or in this particular case uh, a truck. Uh, some very inexpensive things you can do to your vehicle in order to make it safer. Um, safer in terms of uh, against thieves or even for uh, security uh, in terms of your privacy. So this particular car now, um, I want to go ahead and turn Turn the ignition, you can see it's completely dead. And the reason why it's completely dead is um, the first security measure on this vehicle. It's over here in the battery compartment. And that right there is a battery disconnect. Now that disconnect, uh, it's on the negative lead. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and put it back on. It's a knob-based design. So I'm just gonna screw it in, and I just screwed that in. And now it's making a connection and so the battery should theoretically start the car. Now you can put it on the positive or the negative side, but uh, in my particular uh, case here, uh, I'll just show you, it was difficult to put it underneath that cover. So I just put it on the, uh, the negative ground side. It works either way. So if, uh, let's say somebody had your keys, um, they wanted to start up your car, they couldn't, or a thief broke in and tried to, uh, um, to, uh, to start your car by just hot wiring it, well, they wouldn't be able to unless they got into the trunk, obviously. But uh, that's uh, one of the reasons why you would you want to get uh, a battery disconnect. Now, the other reason why you want to get a battery disconnect is um, there's a lot of things in this car that just drain uh, a lot of power from the car, and that also goes against security too. And so, in this uh, GM vehicle, I have. OnStar, which can monitor you um, uh, as well as help you, I guess. Uh, it, that's the way it was designed. But it goes uh, and uh, it receives as well as broadcasts. The other thing this car also has is a Wi-Fi hotspot. So obviously you can um, get information uh, to your devices, but it can also send information through your devices. I'm sure all of us have seen movies like Snowden where they use a uh, laptop uh, camera to spy on people through their own um, personal computers. Uh, and so, yeah, protecting your pri uh, privacy is important. And, um, and that's another reason why you might want to consider a battery disconnect. Not only to save your battery from, from drain, but also uh, for security reasons. And that was probably a $10 device. Uh, I know it wasn't more than 20 bucks. So for relatively little money, you can actually have a lot of security. Now, the other thing I wanted to quickly talk to you about is a, is a wheel nut or wheel lock nut. And so you put one of these locks on every, every wheel and that protects um, each tire from being stolen from your vehicle. Now you might say, well, gee, you know, I, I live out in the country, I, I live off grid, why do I need something like that? Well, I'm sure, you do, I'm sure um, it's fine in your area, but once in a while you do go into town and maybe uh, for an unforeseen circumstance, you might have to go into a city. And in cities, uh, trust me on this, uh, people steal tires. Um, I had a friend who lived in the big city, the Big Apple, who had all four, four tires stolen off his car. So you never know where you might find yourself. Um, and so it's always a good thing to have these guys, um, the, the wheel uh, locks or the wheel, wheel uh, nut uh, locks. And so um, also very inexpensive. I think I got a set of four for $20. So these little things, a, a, a wheel lock nut and, uh, and a battery disconnect are two security measures you can put on your vehicle that will enhance uh, not only the, um, your vehicle's um, uh, safety in terms of being uh, stolen from uh, thieves, but also uh, from um, unintentional use of uh, your information through um, the uh, online internet world that's out there uh, that can uh, monitor uh, effort us for all the things that we do today. So um, go ahead and uh, I'll show you how this, this battery disconnects works again. Here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm just gonna turn the, turn the knob clockwise to put it on. And just show you that it works. All right. Here we go. All right.
Alrighty. So anyway, so Chevy knows that my car is back online. Whoopie-doo. All right. Shalom.